Hi, I'm Jen, and I want to take a few moments to talk about iPhones. There's a lot of buzz surrounding the release of the new iPhone 8, and I've read that it could cost as much as $1,000. So I have a bit of a confession, and that is that I have never purchased an iPhone in my entire life. Now, the phone's been out for over a decade, and I just have never gotten one before. I wanted to explain why and also talk about why I probably don't plan to get an iPhone in the future. Now, I'm not not hitting on Apple products at all. In fact, and I've actually purchased two iPads. I use them all the time. I use my iPad to watch movies, Netflix, stuff on YouTube, and I use the iPod when I'm out because it does take really nice photos and videos, and I also like using it for the apps like Instagram and Snapchat. So I do use these quite often, but here's why I haven't bought the phone, and that's something I really don't like, and that's the data plan. It's really expensive and I, my cell phone plan is actually $25 a month, and I don't want to get one of those plans where you have to spend $100 or $120 per month just on a cell phone. So that's why I actually have chosen to go for Apple products that don't have the data plan, where you can just use them on Wi-Fi, which is pretty much what I've done for the past eight years, which is probably when I bought my first iPad. I have my cell phone covered by Republic Wireless, and I actually got in on the beta plan many, many years ago, probably in like uh, 2012. Okay, maybe it's not that long ago, but you know what I mean. So I've been with Republic Wireless pretty much forever, and it started off as a $19 a month plan. Now it's about $25 with taxes, but that's still far cheaper than a smartphone plan that you can get from like AT&T or like Verizon, where you can get an iPhone. So. Well, I do think the iPhones are cool. I really don't want to pay seven to eight hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars for a phone. So that's why I have shied away from that. My cell phone is like the Moto X and I think I got it for three hundred dollars. And I also I know you could probably say, you know, but Jen, why don't you get the monthly payments? You know, you can get your phone. You don't have to pay for it all at once. You can actually pay like twenty dollars a month. And I'll tell you what. I hate monthly payments. Whenever I can avoid a monthly payment, I will. I don't like them and I don't like paying for things over time. I, I don't even really like the concept of a mortgage. I Even though I have one, I don't like it. And I really would not advocate or not support or encourage anyone to buy anything where you have to make monthly payments on it. So that's why personally I am not I'm not down for the iPhone, and I also don't want to pay 20 bucks a month to buy a phone. So I know there's probably a lot of people that disagree with me, and that's okay. I'm not judging people for your decision, and I, you know, you can do what you want, but I do want to just share with you my own personal experience with cell phones and why I will probably not get an iPhone. So that's it for me, but let me know what you think as well. Are you one of the few people out there that also don't have an iPhone? And if so, do you also do what I do and substitute other Apple products that you can use on your Wi-Fi? So anyways, I'll catch you guys in another video. And if you like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be talking a lot about really random stuff, so feel free to come back and join me.